This is an inertia switch off of a Ford vehicle. On this minivan, it is at the right rear panel. You see the little gas pump with the line through it that means shut off. This switch is a normally closed switch. But you can check this with an ohm meter. There's three pins in it. Two of these pins should be closed. You hear the tone. Now if I take this and smack it against my hand, it opens. It's not going to read anything. Now if this switch opens up, if you hit a pothole or it just becomes weak over time and opens up, you'll need to mash that back. Now if you mash it back, if you got an ohm meter and you check and there's still not continuity or ohms, then the switch has gone bad. What you can do is you can actually, until you can get another switch, if the auto parts stores doesn't have one, you can wire one side of this to the other. Basically just put you a jumper down in there to jump from the white to the green. The green on this one, the green and the yellow, comes directly off the relay after the fuel pump relay closes. It goes through this safety switch, then goes back down and feeds the module power on the white wire. Now with the van started, with the switch closed, got 13.5 volts on the side with the green wire. The side with the white should be the same, if not relatively close. Check our ground. It's jumping around, but it's... It's reading pretty close. You want it just about the same. You don't want a big gap in... Uh, the voltage on this, that could be a problem if you're trying to chase down a fuel pump issue. You could have voltage drop across this, um, even if it's not completely bad due to corrosion on the inside. So you want to check voltage from one side and then check it to the other with the vehicle running, if it will start, that is. Now, if this switch is bad, you'll have voltage on the green wire coming in. But on the white wire coming back out, you won't have anything.